Welcome to Denmark. Welcome to the city of Holstebro. And welcome to the Danish equivalent of Mission College. We're a class of people known as Second U, all attending the school of HTX. But what is HTX? HTX is one of the secondary schools of Denmark. HTX stands for Higher Technical Exam, which means we're a technical school focusing primarily on science. The Danish school system is divided into four parts. The primary, boarding and continuation, secondary school, which is the equivalent to high school, and university, each with different courses and directions. The primary school is mandatory by national laws and require attendance for at least 10 years, starting from the age of six. After these 10 years, it's time to choose a secondary school. Here you can either choose an academic secondary education called the gymnasium or a vocational education. This is the stage that we're in. We're in the second year of our academic secondary education, which as mentioned is called HTX. HTX is part of three different types of gymnasium, a standard edition, a business edition, and as mentioned, a technical edition. On HTX, you can choose different kinds of so-called study majors, which lets you choose two majors that you particularly want to focus and study the most. The major of our class is divided in two. We got one half doing physics and maths as their major, and the other doing biotech and maths. However, the US science program, which is the program that offers the overseas trip to you guys, is what unites our class. Hence, also the name of our class, Second U, Second US Science. But what do we do at this school then? How does our daily life unfold? Usually our classes are held in the same classroom all day long. This means that it's only the teacher that moves around the hallways doing class swaps. Usually it's subjects like Danish, English, Maths and Physics that are held in our classroom. Obviously in chemistry, we need to be able to perform pracs such as these. And therefore we had our chemistry classes held in the lab. This way the theory chemistry will become more practical and thus enhance learning. A characteristic and significant subject of our school is technology. Technology is a subject that primarily focuses on being innovative and crafting various different projects in the large workshop at our school. Another significant aspect of our school is that we spend large amounts of time working on projects together in groups. Group work and learning of working together as a unit is a part of the school's educational essence, hence why we do it. A typical day normally ends at around 14 o'clock and we all leave school and we go our separate ways. Some may have some leisure work to attend to. In fact, almost 35% of teens from the age of 13 to 17 have work in their free time. Even though we here in Denmark are privileged receivers of student grants, which is a governmentally supported financial support for all students from the age of 18, varying from 100 US dollars to 900 US dollars a month, depending on whether you live at home or not, and also if your parents' financial situation is good or bad, a little extra money from leisure job is always nice to have. Others have leisure activities planned for the day. Many of us participate in sports and are part of a different sports clubs around the country. This could be football or soccer, as you call it, handball, swimming, gymnastics, volleyball, and so on. Bike riding, riding, horseback riding. Sometimes people also go to the city central and do some shopping or whatnot. Cities in Denmark usually have what is called a pedestrian street, a street where motorized vehicles and even bikes are not allowed. It's usually just a long street with various types of stores and cafes on either side. Holstebro's pedestrian street has actually been declared Denmark's most cozy pedestrian street for several years now. Now come along for a quick ride in Holstebro. We all hope we'll get to see you all sometime in the future at Mission College when Corona has passed and restrictions no longer are holding us back. Kind regards from Denmark and from all of us in Second U.